We've got another firearm review on 411 Outdoors today. We're going to be looking at the Grisson Influencer. Stick around. About a month ago, I had the opportunity to review another firearm from EAA Corp, and that was the Grisson MC14. It was a 380 ACP. I absolutely loved that pistol. Everything about it, it's easy maintenance, it's look, it's feel, it had substance to it, it was a very low recoil, it was just a great shooting experience. Today we're gonna to be looking at some heavier firepower here. We've got the 45 Influencer. This is a gorgeous MC 1911. This has got low profile three dot sights. It's got an accessory rail, and these are for the CNS models only. It has an ambidextrous thumb safety and hexagon textured grips. Now you can get the Influencer in compact, subcompact, or full size. It's available in 10 millimeter, 38 super, 45 ACP, and nine millimeter. You can get this in camo, blue slash black, or tungsten. You've got the S, the C, and the SC model. Your S would be a five inch barrel. Your C would be a 4.4, which is what I have here. And your SC would be 3.4. This has an extended beaver tail and a magazine well. And these are polymer grips. Now I'm only saying this to be funny. This is my first 1911. And I'm a big fan of the movie Cobra. It's one of my favorites from the 80s. And I always loved that 1911 he had with those Cobra pistol grips. I wonder if I could get those put on here. I'm only kidding. Or am I? These pistols are known for their ease of maintenance and cleaning. At this time, we're gonna take a break on all the specs. We're gonna get out and take some shots. I like my Dirty Bird splatter targets. This is a very weighty pistol, but it is such a smooth shooter and the recoil was minimal. I was pleasantly surprised actually. And I say that because I'm mostly a nine millimeter guy. That's what I shoot most of the time. And I've shot 45s but this one had seemingly less kick. I took the first shot and kind of paused to get a feel for it, but after that I got into a little bit more of a rapid fire and it was just really smooth and comfortable and was not as loud as I thought it was going to be. Let's have round two. A lot of people want to know about how hard it is to rack the slide on a firearm and this one's right in the middle. It's not crazy easy, but it's not difficult either. I like to include that information for those who may be struggling with, you know, a little bit of weakness in their wrist for whatever reason, but this sits in the middle. I also wanted to include a couple of up close shots so you could see the recoil and it's not bad at all for a 45 caliber. I typically EDC a nine millimeter, but this is definitely going to be a woods carry. I want to ask this just for YouTube conversation. What do you prefer? For everyday carry nine millimeter or 45 and why i know some of the obvious answers but i just want to hear from you on that and i forgot to mention this is an eight round magazine i'm sure you could put that together from the amount of shots that i fired but there you go now these are manufactured in turkey you gotta admit this is easy on the eyes i think that both this and the mc14 that i reviewed a while back are just really really nice looking firearms really well designed I think I'm going to have to trick this one out with my Olight PL Turbo. I try to be extremely versatile in the things that I review within the tactical survival outdoor sphere. And I like to review things that I believe are affordable to people that offer great quality. I believe that the Influencer falls under that category. I believe the MC14 that I reviewed falls under that category. And I'm all about good quality at a great price, especially in the economical times we're in right now. That being said, this is a review only and not a sales pitch. I just like to be versatile in what I review to help you out as you're out there shopping for good things at a great price. And that's why I'm reviewing these arms from Gerson. I'll just say this as a bonus. I like it when manufacturers give their product a real name. For example, in the knife world, people want me to review knives and it'll just be the manufacturer's name and then it'll be fixed blade knife. I'm like, give that knife a name, give it something to be remembered by. And that is what EAA has done with the Influencer. And I believe the name is a very befitting title. 
I'm looking forward to putting this through some more paces. It's a very smooth shooter, and I'm a big fan of this already. What do you think of the Gerson Influencer? Do you own one similar? Do you own this pistol already? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care.